today I'd like to talk about building an inexpensive chicken brooder. So you've just come back from the feed store with several balls of fuzz with legs. Normally these chicks would hang out under these wings to keep warm. If you don't happen to have one of these portable brooders around, you'll have to make other arrangements. Grab a large cardboard box. To make it official, put a fancy label on it. Chicken brooder. Cut some small holes in the box for ventilation, as well as giving the chicks inside some recreational viewing to the outside world. While cutting the holes, do keep in mind any outside visitors that may visit your brooder. Tape three of the box lids up, leaving the fourth one down. This will be your brooder door. Applying a flap of tape to both sides will allow you to use a clamp to open and close the door easily. Just remember, within a few weeks, an open door means the girls can fly out. In case you're wondering, this chick's going to turn into a speckled Sussex. Once the box is taped up, cut two holes in the top. This will allow you to feed a board through there for support for both the box top and a removable screen. Why do we need a screen? Remember our outside visitors? You want to keep them outside, as well as keep the chicks inside. Now that the box is built, line it with newspaper. You don't want the chicks to be walking on the newspaper, so put down a layer of wood shavings. You can pick the shavings up at the feed store at the same time you pick up your chicks. You can need feed for the girls, and this will be dispensed out of a feeder you place in the box. Along with the feed, they'll need fresh water every day. We place the water on a wood block to try to keep wood shavings from being kicked into it. But what we do want in the water is some probiotic chick boost. This stuff helps give your chicks superpowers. You know, like staying alive. After they start growing some of their feathers in, give them bathing facilities. For this, we use sifted dirt. You'll find out that even though they're only a couple weeks old, they still enjoy their dust baths, plus eating the pebbles in it. And both chicks and chickens like to roost, but we built this roost jungle gym. The perches are all different sizes and heights. As you can see, it turned into quite a comfortable little home. When the chicks get older, you can take out the kitty toys and put in a real roost. Just cut two holes in the box and feed it through. Finally, we need to address a source of heat for the chicks. We can replace this with a heat lamp. The bulb normally runs from 150 to 300 watts, and the lamp is all metal because it gets very hot. And because it gets so hot, you want to make sure you use a second clamp when you're mounting this heat lamp. This makes sure it won't fall off and start a fire. As far as mounting the heat lamp, every week you want to move the heat lamp further away from the chicks to lower the temperature by 5 degrees. So you need something that's adjustable. I accomplished this with some scrap lumber. I used some 1x4s to make a square frame, 2x2s to beef up the frame corners, and 1x2s for some stabilizing legs. The frame goes under the back of the box, and another 1x4 goes under the front to keep the box level. Finally, this 2x2 two two that's mounted in the frame right here is what I clamp my heat lamp to. I use a standard bookshelf pinning system to hold this bar in place. The frame has holes drilled every inch, and a metal pin goes through the frame and into the bar. Additionally, the bar rests on furring strips on the inside of the frame. This keeps the bar from rotating. Let's say after several weeks, you've moved the lamp up as high as it's going to go. If you still need to put heat on the chicks, this system's easy to modify. Just head back out to your 1x2 scrap pile and screw in an adjustable bar directly into your framework. You'll want to position the heat lamp to one side of the box. If the chicks get hot, they have to be able to get away from the heat. Additionally, you also want to keep their water as far away from the heat lamp as possible. The chicks like water, not hot tea. Place a thermometer underneath the heat lamp. A good starting point is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit for a brand new chick. Move the lamp higher or lower to accomplish this. The thermometer is a great starting point, but don't use it solely as a gauge for temperature. Watch your chicks. If they're huddled under the heat lamp all the time and they never venture out, it's too cold. If they stay away from the heat lamp and never go under it, it's too hot. The right temperature means they'll spend equal amounts of time away from the lamp and under the lamp. That's about it for the brooder. I made my design so I can put everything back in the box and put it up in the attic until the next set of chicks. I'd like to cover one or two more things which isn't common chicken knowledge. If you want your chickens to be pets, now is the time for you to acclimate yourselves to them. Pick them up and handle them as much as possible when they're chicks. I don't know, maybe get a ball and play fetch with them or something. 
But when they're in the brooder is the age when you convince them that you're part of the flock. The other information I want to share is a warning about backyard chickens. When a chicken is awake, it's going to always be eating. They love grass. In the summertime, the grass is growing, so it's no problem that they eat it. But in the winter, it's not growing anymore. So each time they eat a blade of grass, you're down one more blade in your lawn. Eventually, you'll find out your entire lawn is gone. It's just a mud pit. So you can either put straw down to keep the mud under control, or do what we do. We just composted the whole backyard. And just three chickens did all this damage. The other problem is, there will be places you don't want the chickens to go in your backyard. For example, your deck. So be prepared to build a fence to keep them off. Additionally, you want to keep them away from some of your landscaping. So you build a decorative little fence around it, release the hounds, and when you're not looking, they'll laugh at you, then get past your barrier and tear up your landscaping. But whoever said having kids was easy? Well, thanks for watching.